in today's class i am going to discuss about errors in the measurement of length as all of us learn that to measure small lengths we use four important instruments one is vernier calipers another one is screw gauge third one is spirometer and the fourth one is a traveling microscope in this session let me explain that what is the use of vernier calipers yeah here is a vernier calipers this device is used to measure a small length of 0.01 cm and this vernier calipers is also used to measure the external diameter of a vessel external diameter how do we measure by holding the vessel along its two diametrically opposite points and we can also measure the internal diameter of the vessel we can also measure the depth of the vessel using this vernier calipers we can also measure the diameter of the cylinder diameter of the cylinder we can measure diameter of a metallic bar fine then how do we measure the diameter or the depth or the external diameter or the internal diameter of a vessel how to find out so this vernier calipers has two scales one is the main scale the other one is the vernier scale fine Here is a picture of vernier calipers. As I have told you, that there are two scales. One is the vernier scale. The other one is the main scale. This vernier calipers is used to measure up to zero point zero one centimeter. That is its resolution. as i have told you that there are two scales one is the main scale one is the main scale the other one is the vernier scale in this picture it's very clear that the 10 divisions of vernier scale coincided with the 9 divisions of main scale that's more clear here Ten divisions of vernier scale coincide with nine divisions of main scale. One vernier scale division is equal to nine by ten main scale division. This nine by ten is zero point nine, and one main scale division is equal to one millimeter. So this is equal to zero point nine millimeter. And how do we find the least count of this vernier scale? What is least count? The minimum value. that can be measured by using this instrument 
What is the minimum value? Let us find out. The least count of one year calipers is defined as the difference between one main scale division and one vernier scale division. The value of one main scale division is one millimeter. And the value of one well, one vernier scale division is equal to 0.9 millimeter. And after subtraction, we get 0 0.1 millimeter. Or in other words, 0 0.01 centimeter. Fine. Then, how do we use this vernier calipers in measuring small distances? Let us see that. Yes. In this picture, a metallic ball is kept between two jars and we wish to measure the diameter of this metallic ball. How to find out? There is a formula to find out There is a formula to find out This total reading is equal to main scale reading plus this Coincide vernier scale reading. Coincide vernier scale division or reading into least count plus or minus. Yeah. So before finding the main scale reading, the coincide vernier scale reading. First we have to find out the error of this instrument. Whether this error, error of the instrument is zero error or positive error or negative error. Look at this picture. Suppose any vernier calipers if the zero of the vernier scale division coincides with the zero of the main scale, then this instrument has no error. Then here we substitute the zero. Fine. Look at the next one. Positive error. What is positive error? If the zero of the vernier scale division lies right side of the zero of the main scale. I repeat, zero of the one year scale division lies on the right side. This is right side. Right side of the main scale. Right side of the zero of the main scale. In that situation, this instrument has positive value. And this positive error should be subtracted in the measured value to get the actual value. Now let us try to find out the error of this instrument. Fine. How to find out this positive error? Error is equal to Error is equal to Number of coincide one year scale division into the least count. Look here, 0 is not coincided. First division is not coincided with the main scale. Second division is also not coincided. Third division of vernier scale coincided with one of the main scale division. So, we have to take 3 here. What is this 3? Three? 3 is the 
coincide one year scale division this n should be coincide one year scale division coincide out of 10 which one is coincided with one of the main scale division into the least count of the one year calipers that is 0 0.1 millimeter or in other words 0 0.01 centimeter and this becomes 0 0.3 millimeter or in other words 0 0.03 centimeter so now we have got error this error is a positive error then this number should be subtracted this number should be subtracted from the measured value to get the actual value let us come back to the situation here look at this situation here in this case what is the main scale the main scale reading is here it is there main scale 3 3 it has already come here 3 3 then 3.1 3 3.1 3 this is 3.2 but this vernier scale 0 of the vernier scale is lying between 3.1 and 3.2 how much we should take we should take 3.1 not 3.2 we should take 3.1 so, main scale reading is 3.1. Okay, then what is the coincide division here? One is not coincided, second one is not coincided, third one is not coincided, fourth one is not coincided, fifth division of one year scale coincided with one of the main scale region therefore the coincide vernier scale reading is 5 into the least count least count is least count is here we express in terms of centimeter this is what 3.1 centimeter 5 into, we have to write the least count in centimeter. The least count in centimeter is 0 0.01. Okay. Then, this is equal to, how much we get? 3.1 plus 0 0.05. So, we get here 3. 1.5 centimeter but since this instrument contains error positive error therefore this number this number should be subtracted from this measured value to get the correct value so subtract after corrected the corrected value The corrected value is equal to 3.15 minus this error 0.03. So what we get is 5 minus 3, 2, 1 minus 0, 1, 3 minus 0, 3.12 centimeter. So its correct diameter is 3.12 centimeter. This is how we have to find out. Suppose, if this instrument, instead of positive error, if it has negative error, then how should we calculate the total reading? Look at this picture. Suppose, 
if the instrument has negative error what is negative error if the zero of the one year scale division lies left side of zero of the main scale i repeat if the zero of the one year scale division lies left side of the zero of the main scale there are two scales here main scale and one year scale this is zero of one year scale this is zero of main scale zero of one year scale lies left side of zero of main scale then this instrument this one year calipers contains negative error how to find out that negative error error is equal error is equal then the number of coincide one year scale division into this coincide 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 the eighth division of the one year scale coincided with the one of the main scale so eight into the least count of the one year calipers is 0.01 cm so this is equal to 0.08 cm this negative error should be added to the measured value to get the actual value for example let us take the this situation the same situation the same situation let us assume that this has negative error let us assume that this has negative error how to find out the total reading as all of us know that the total reading is equal to main scale reading plus the one year scale the coincide one year scale reading into least count after finding this value this error should be added to get the actual value how to find out what is the main scale here the main scale is 3.1 cm plus the coincide one year scale division here the fifth division of one year scale coincide with one of the main scale the least count of the one year calipers 0.01 so what we get is 3.1 plus 0.05 is equal to 3.15 cm but this is not the correct one because this contains negative error so that negative error should be added therefore the corrected value the corrected value is equal to 3.15 plus this negative error 0.08 what we get is 3.5 plus 8 30 and one remain here 1 plus 1 3.23 fine so this is how we calculate the error and then the uh, the actual value can be found in this way okay remember that the positive error should be always subtracted from the measured value whereas the negative error should be always added to the measured value to get the actual value now let us go to screw gauge how to measure the length the small length by using screw gauge here is an instrument screw gauge the screw gauge is used to measure the thickness of a metallic sheet or it is used to measure the diameter of a wire or it is used to measure the thickness of a sheet 
thickness of a sheet or it is used to measure the thickness of a paper, a piece of paper. Smaller lengths up to 0.001 centimeter. We can measure by using the screw gaze. Now let us look at screw gaze. It is also called micrometer. It is also called micrometer. Yeah, here is a micrometer. This micrometer contains several parts. This is the onion, the micrometer screw, the locking device, the linear scale, the circular scale, and here is the reject. Okay, we have one more picture about screw gaze. Okay. First of all, how to determine that small length by using screw gaze? As I have told you that after long term using this micrometer due to wear and tear this device will contain some error okay and how to find out that error before that let us try to find out the least count of the micrometer least count that is the minimum value that can be measured by using the screw case. This count is equal to pitch. Pitch divided by total number of total number of total number of circular division. Total number of circular divisions. Here, there are two scales a linear scale and a circular scale. The total number of divisions on the circular scale. The total number of divisions on the circular scale. 